All right, folks, in this video, I'm going coastal again. And it's a long video, but if you make it to the end, you're going to see a lot of fish and some big ones. All right, let me tell you real quick how this came about. I was down at the beach uh, over Thanksgiving. Uh, I put something up on Facebook about it, and Inglis Glover, uh, saw that I was there. Uh, he is a TV show host. He's got his own TV show. He's also got his own radio show. I'm going to put some links down in the description uh, section below to all of his stuff. So you can be sure to watch him and uh, uh, listen to the show if you're down there in the area. Uh, but he said, hey, I, I see you're down here. Do you want to come fish with me? Jump on the boat with me. I think he felt sorry for me because every time he sees me down on the coast, all I'm doing is catching sharks. And he's a really good fisherman. He knows how to target these different specific species. And that was his hope, was to go out and catch some trout and also catch some drum. So I met up with him. I was really excited. When I met him, dude, is honest like having one of your buddies that you fish with forever. Uh, we got along great. And uh, we headed out, jumped on the boat, and took off to the jetties. Crash blue. Skunk's out of the boat. There we go. Yeah. Bluefish need loving too. It's a fish, but it's bluefish need loving too. Come here, buddy. Not what the fish master is after here. No. Boy, if I could freeze these things, I could have shark bait all summer long. Yeah, you but... would. We can get you all you need right now. I promise you we'll catch plenty of bluefish. Okay. That right there will catch you about a 40 pound smoker king mackerel. Yeah, see that fast move when he makes that fast. Oh, I got him side hook. Look at there. Yeah, I got him in. That's probably one that's just bit my hook off. Hey, dude, we're going. We're going to go blue fishing today. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to go blue fishing. I'm here today fishing with Inglis Glover, targeting bluefish. No, look. I caught catch. him looking at the bait. That'll teach you. I tell you what, while we both got ours in, we're gonna move into the creek and try it. See, that. he's not looking for these things. If I was catching them, I'd fish for them the rest of the day. That's why he's a pro and I'm me. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the trolling motor. Get out of the trolling motor. There he is. Ooh. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. They make more of them. Nice. There's your, there's your average jetty trout right there. I'm gonna grab it right up here real easily. Now I would take, I would take him in my two fish bag for the tournament on Saturday. He's been caught. Got some holes. He's been caught by somebody right there. Yeah. Nice one. Nice two and a half pounder. Yep. Right. Off to the races. Finally got hooked up on one. Inglis is gonna spank me for doing camera and reeling at the same no, time. No, I'm proud of it. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I'm hoping it's a trout. Oh. Hey, at least you got one. It was your turn to get into the bluefish game. Ah, man. Ah. Good day. Master. The blue fish master. Look at there. Look at there. Maybe that's what's stealing all our bait. Could be. They got that funny bite. Yeah. Look at that. Pretty good. Got him on the outside. Oh, these have teeth like a cow. They literally have teeth like a cow. And English is winning. Well, we spent about an hour out there. Uh, we caught some fish. I was happy. I was having fun, but it wasn't what Inglis was targeting. He's a good fisherman, and he goes after a specific fish, and we weren't really catching them good out there. So we loaded up, and we headed back into the creek. Oh, 
little shorty. Like I said, we'll catch flounder in here. They like shrimp too. Oh! Bounce! He head the fish. Whoops. He's unconscious now. Whoops. Fish is gonna drown. <laughs> I've got a cameraman besides my, uh, besides my 10 year old doing it this time. We're gonna see though, Grayson, we're gonna see whose uh, video is better, yours or uh, the boss man here. There's a trout. There's a trout. Kabam! Look at there. That'd be an eater. What you say? What you say? Wow. You caught that thing way back there. Take it on back. Just so you know, guys, you don't lift these things. As my son says, get him back in. Kabam! You're free. Finally, I'm catching up to him. Good job, buddy. He's got 19 fish and Good I caught job, three buddy. now. Yeah, no. Black drum, maybe. I don't know. I see a lot of shine. Yeah, the motor. Did you net him? Yeah, we'll net him. Black drum. Bam! There we go. Where have we seen this before? Well, I'm going to tell you one thing about black drum. This time of the year, for speckled trout, they are a locator, locator fish. Really? You know, I told you yesterday we caught the heck out of them. Yeah. You know, side by side, trout, black drum, trout, black drum, black drum. You know, they're locator fish. I think they feed the same way, hang out together. Now I'm gonna tell you what, that's a legal fish. Yeah. I am gonna keep him. Food. I'm gonna keep him for dinner. I saw what he made last night for dinner, and it looked pretty good. He actually. <laughs> Hey, he I'm guilted me out I'll of give frying you the recipe mine. And I, okay. I did guilt you. He I guilted me out of frying mine. I was on the way to Walmart <laughs> to get the house altry, and he guilted uh, me into baking mine. So I actually baked mine, and it was delicious. So don't worry, don't worry, buddy. Let me know if you need a net. I'm standing on. <laughs> I'm used to running the camera, netting, and it all at the same time. Oh yeah. Looks like a drum. Oh yeah, that's a nice one there. There you go. Yeah, he's gonna get yeah, you nice. better put, you better put the net you better put the net on him. <laughs> you better put the net on him when you get him. He's gonna die. What amazes me is how strong I mean how long they will pull. They don't give up. No. The other thing is you can throw them on ice. And two hours later, they're still moving around. Now, I lip these things. Was I crazy? No. Okay, I don't no. feel any teeth in their mouth. No, they got no teeth. Their crushers are back there in their throat. Same as a red fish. You gonna eat him? Eh? I'll eat him. Right. Heck yeah. Why? Heck yeah. The one thing I learned from fishing alongside him is what I have told people about catching catfish. It's all about confidence. Uh, he has confidence in what he's doing. We sat in some places for 30 minutes and never caught a fish, made some subtle little moves, and then boom, we were on him. He has confidence in what he's doing. I don't have that confidence when I'm down there salt water fishing, but after fishing with him, I learned what I was doing technique-wise, rigging-wise, bait-wise was right. I just wasn't putting in the time or sometimes putting in too much time, and that's something you're only going to get from experience and spending a lot of time on the water. Well, Inglis was a good host. He let me pick off a couple of fish, but it wasn't long before class was back in session and I was getting schooled by this master once again. Yeah, that's a nice trout there. Got him on top. Got him on top. Giving him oh, a ski. There we go. There you go. Pretty. Uh-huh. The bam. Yeah, you just don't want to lift him. Yeah, don't lift that one. That's no, what I'll take him. All right, buddy, we're gonna let you go. We'll let you live. All right, we got a bunch of buddies. Another one released. 
Now I gotta talk to my wife. She's on the phone. Hey, honey. <laughs> hey, honey. I've got a fish. I have no idea what it is. Is it a, it's a trout? It's a trout. It's a trout. It is Sir. definitely a nice one. That you want to sling him or you want to that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, oh. <laughs> you and your releases. That's why you, you, don't, your that's why you don't grab the line when it's that close. You and Easy your releases. Boy. Hey, Tate. Don't nice open fish. your mouth so I can lift you. That's a nice fish. These are a lot <sighs> better fish right here. Blue Daddy. Angler's catching all my yeah, shark got, bait. I'll be wanting hey, this. By the way, you might want to reel your trout. Uh, you might want to reel your trout. That's what happens. I'm sitting here filming loosen fish, and he's catching them. It's it's sad. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get bit probably while I'm looking at a pinfish. Look at that. That freaking thing is huge. <laughs> that is unreal. Bait thief. I've never seen one that big. That's crazy. I knew if I fish that thing a little deeper. I think, oh, 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 look at that. Oh, that's big. Do you see that trout? Yeah. That's a good one. I might just have him hooked back. Nope, there he is. He's loose. Yeah, that's a good one. Here we go. Bam. Here we go. That's another good trout. That's a, hey, that's a good that's a good trout for the creek there. I'm not lying. I mean, that's over two now. I try to really... See getting turned into I dinner. try to touch them as little as I can, even when releasing them. Keeping them or are you going to eat them? Oh, we're going to let him go. Okay. We're going to let okay. old yellow mouth go. Okay. See why they call them yellow mouth? It'll be a bluefish, dude. Finally caught one. Just when you think it's a bluefish. Yep, bluefish. Bluefish! We almost double. I mean, technically, yeah. we got two we in the double. boat at the same time. I'd say it is. Look at that. Wow, what do you got? I don't know what it is. That's a big trout. Is it? I swear to you. You really just pulled that much drag out of that reel. Unless you loosened it up. No, I didn't loosen it up. Look here. Look here, I got one too. Yeah, that's a nice one you got. You can say it here. Look at this. It's the only time all day that I've caught a fish bigger than what Inglis has caught, and thank God it was on video. Ah! Obviously, this will be the hey. only two. Inglis knows TV, and this will be the only two fish that will be shown that all be day shown. Uh, in the whole show. So, good one, brother. Yeah, good one. Fun, fun. I got. It. Is he gone? No, he's still I was there. I thought it was a trout, but it's not. Oh, a ladyfish. Ladyfish. Poor man's tarpon. They're good bait for something. Yeah. Here's the bad thing about them. Watch. Yep, there he goes. What's that? He'll poop all yeah. over the place. Yep, there he goes. See? <laughs> English is out here dialing in all these fish and how we catch them. He's got all these techniques. And every time he catches one, I go, dang, there goes some good shark bait. Yep, everything is shark bait to you. <laughs> everything is shark bait to you, Dieter. Oh, yeah, dang, how shark many sharks bait. were in? Yeah. This is cool, man knows what he's doing. That's a weird pull. Better his foul hook. Oh. That's got like Ooh. a big head, like. Uh, the, the head shake? Yeah. Like a trout bait mess around, this is a nice fish. up catching the biggest fish. Oh, you got the biggest this fish. This will blow up the uh, internet. Look here, you got the biggest <laughs> fish. My question is, what is it? Color yet. Oh. Boom. Wow, that's a pig. Wow, that's, that's that, yeah, that's a six pounder. That's a pig. And the only reason I say that, you know, they're not that long. Yeah. But I'll, I'll let you hold this fish because I know you know weight as good as I do about fish. That's a six pound fish. 
Now, one of the little things I want you to notice here, I picked up a couple of fish on the uh, starboard side of the boat. If you pay attention to what happens, somehow in the exchange of getting the video and getting the fish netted, Inglis ended up on that side of the boat. That is a smart fisherman. Nothing good. Nothing good but a trout, I think. Wow, look at that flounder. Flounder. There you go. Flounder. I mean, dude, we've sat right here caught trout, black drum, flounder. Yeah. Now, he is not legal. No, he's a little short. That's probably. what I thought. I'm getting he's good at guessing. Probably, I would go on a long limb and say he's about 14 and a quarter. Yeah. He's somewhere over 14, but no, the new, the new red. That's right, y'all are up to 15, 15 now. 15 right? now, yeah. Something bigger? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. My drag's a little tighter than yours was. You might want to watch your bobber. I'm getting in your line. That's a big one. I don't know. Did you, did you get a good? Did you get a good weight on that other one of yours? Because nah. this one might beat it. That one looks bigger. Uh, come on, one inch. Got there we go. Got I think he's bigger. You know, you know, you'd think he'd fish with somebody. That's big. He has his own TV show. You'd think he'd have a net with a handle on it. All right, you, you, here's what's going to be funny. When you see my edited drum story, I've got this same thing because I couldn't find a freaking handle in the front of the boat. I, you'll see it. Well, I know for catfishing, you need as big a net as you can get. That's a stud. Hey buddy, you're a lucky day. I don't... All right folks, one thing that happened on this last spot, we had some guys coming by real slow. They saw us catching fish. They anchored up about 30 yards from us. And uh, it was kind of funny because Inglis said, he said, they're, he said they're just a little bit too far out of place. He said, they'll never catch any fish there. And he was right. We ended up catching all these fish right in front of him and we had a little bit of fun with it. Folks, the funny thing is we've got a boat right behind us. <laughs> I don't think they've caught a fish. No. Should we offer them? Should we say, hey, do you guys want Make it splash real loud when it goes in. Should we say, hey, you guys want one? I'm gonna back us up, Sean. I'm helping him. I'm chasing him. We're going after him. Chasing him. We're going after him because he's going the other way. We're getting our money's worth on the last fish of the day. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Angla said one more drift. I said one more drift. I told you one more. One more drift. And you had to do it. You had to go with, oh God, look at this one. Look at this one. All right, this one, this one just beat mine. That's big, you dude. Me. You got me. Wow. You got me. That's a slob. Yeah, hooks right here on the corner. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's right. I can do it without. You know, if it's way down in there, I would normally just cut it off. Especially on a, especially on a red. But he, he's right here. There we go. All right, folks. Here on this last fish, if you listen in the background, you can hear the guys in the boat next to us. They had to ask finally, "Hey, what are you catching them on? What are you catching? What kind of bait are you using?" Inglis, being the nice guy he was before we left, gave them some tips so they could catch some fish too. Black drum. Yeah, they've caught a couple decent ones. Put your bait in the water. I'm going to swim him over there to you. Here he comes. He'll be down in a minute. As you can see, folks, we caught a ton of fish. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you watching because it's a long one. I want to thank the folks at Marshalls Marine for providing us with a great boat for this trip. I'm going to put a link down uh, to their marina in the bottom with their website so you can check them out if you're down in the uh, Myrtle Beach area. they got some great products. This boat was awesome. As always, if you like these videos, please hit subscribe. And as my son Grayson says, smash the bell so you'll be notified uh, whenever new videos come out. We hope to see you on the water soon.